Hey guys, uh, I want to do an update video for you now. Uh, first of all, thank you to anyone who has watched the Gunpla News episode 02 that was just released before this video. If you haven't watched that um, after this, go and maybe check that out. That's got uh, all the Gunpla News for this month of uh, new kits, uh, updates on some kits, and some news about some third party kits, and some featured kits from some really awesome modelers, so if you haven't watched that, you can go back and check it out. Otherwise, I just want to tell you about what my plans are for 2015. Uh, 2014 is coming to an end, and um, I haven't really produced as much Gumpla as I would have liked this past year, but one thing I have done is starting this YouTube channel, and I just want to say a really, really big thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos, um, everyone who has subscribed, um, everyone who's going to be subscribing in the future. Uh, thank you to some other members in the YouTube community who have really helped give me some uh, great advice, like um, Simon at Gundam UK, Jim at uh, Gunpla Fixation, uh, and uh, Justin at Justinius Builds. Uh, those guys I've been uh, talking with and getting closer you know, with those guys, and they're all really, really cool guys. And, have given me some really great advice um, and really kind of helped me uh, get a little bit more involved in the Gunpla community so uh, big thank you to them and uh, just <laughs> yeah so my YouTube channel uh, I'm now at about uh, 20,000 total views and about 350 subscribers at this point and that's uh, pretty good I think <laughs> for uh, basically, considering that I've started the channel about uh, seven months ago now, I believe. I think it was in June. So it's been about uh, about seven months, I guess, from the original starting point. So uh, to grow that much in seven months, I think, is uh, not bad. Uh, not bad. Uh, basically, if you saw my very first video, my introduction video, I, t I said that my goal for this channel is basically to show you guys some uh, kits that are not in the mainstream. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a lot more of like uh, online exclusive kits, rare old kits, um, and I've uh, shown you a few third party kits as well, uh, and even a couple bootlegs now. So. Um, Basically, my goal is to just kind of share with you guys some stuff that uh, might be otherwise kind of hard to find much uh, about online. Because uh, there are some other YouTubers who do a very great job of um, showing off kits as they come out, uh, but uh, uh, not everyone uh, can buy every single kit that comes out, and that certainly includes me. Uh, but uh, the kits that I do have and buy, I want to share with you guys, so uh, it seems like so far um, some people are enjoying seeing those, so that's good. Um, the other thing that uh, I want to uh, say thank you for is the positive response that I've got from the new Gunpla News uh, series that I've just started. Um, I Like I said, uh, the previous video was only the second episode, but... Uh, I think that's something that I'm really looking forward to continuing that in the future and doing my best to make it better. The other thing, uh, speaking about that, that I want to improve is just my overall delivery of the videos. I think uh, I do too much of this, like hesitating, saying, uh, because I don't really, for the most part, I don't make a plan of what I'm going to say in the videos, but uh, in the future, I want to try to make my videos. Uh, quicker and more concise, um, just tell you the information I want to tell you, and just like boom boom boom. Uh, I think there's some YouTubers who do that very very well, and uh, I kind of just want to aspire to be more like that. Just kind of eliminate a lot of the dullness in some of my videos, and uh, just kind of make them a, a bit more like fast paced and uh, interesting. So you can see what you want to see, hear what you want to hear, and then just boom, like be done with it. So uh, that's one of my goals to work on that in 2015. The other goal is just to work on the overall uh, video quality as well. Right now I've been uh, doing all of my video editing on a old version of Final Cut Pro, so I don't really have a whole lot of um, 
stuff I can do. I can make the, the you know, like uh, color and levels, everything look nice, but I don't have any kind of like flashy intro or anything, and I don't want to go like too overboard with that. But I do think that there's some stuff I can do to improve the overall video quality of my videos. So um, I am going to be upgrading to a new version of editing software, probably uh, Final Cut. Uh, X, Final Cut Pro X, uh, anyway, the new version of Final Cut Pro, and uh, I am going to uh, revamp a filming area, usually um, what I've been doing now is I'm using this area, which is now taken up by this, and I just am using like a gray paper there for doing uh, most of my photos and uh, reviews for kits. That works, but it can be a little bit annoying when I've got a project like this that's kind of taking up my desk. It's annoying to have to move stuff every time I want to shoot a review, so I kind of want to get a different space uh, and also try to get some better lighting. I think the lighting that I have has been working okay, and it's good. Uh, it works, but I want to just try to make the videos as professional as possible, so uh, I'll be looking into that, maybe getting some uh, better lights in here and just a better space for filming videos. So anyway, uh, I'm planning on working on that. Uh, let's see, another video series, I am, I've mentioned this a couple times, but uh, I am planning to do a um, tutorial series. Uh, as I mentioned before, I think there's a lot of really great tutorials online already, but everyone does things a little bit differently, so I just want to give you guys kind of my take on how I go about my process and I hope it can be helpful to some people because um, once again as I mentioned before I think that uh, a lot of the simple steps to improve the overall look of your Gunpla um, can be a little bit intimidating for people who maybe have never tried them before like someone who's never worked with glue on a kit can be a little bit nervous you know about using glue because they don't want to ruin their kit or anything like that but um, that's something that's essential for moving seam lines for one like gluing and sanding um, which I think is a very simple step and a very easy way to improve the look of your Gundam and uh, it's something that you shouldn't really be afraid to do so um, things like that and it's also not expensive uh, this all you need is a uh, bottle of tummy of thin cement, like that. Uh, some sandpaper, that's not expensive. And uh, maybe some putty. I've got a very big one. This one was a little bit more expensive because it's really big. But I, st I think still this was less than 10 bucks for this. Or you can get a smaller one. Actually, I've got the smaller one here, but it's almost gone. Anyway, uh, and you don't always even need putty if you're uh, uh, careful about it. You can go. You can do it without uh, putty. You just need the glue and sandpaper. Um, so yeah, just stuff like that. I think uh, those steps are not difficult and they're not expensive. So I just want to kind of share uh, how easy that can be. Uh, I think it's easy. A lot of people like to kind of set like levels for building gunpla like beginner, intermediate, and like advanced like and I think a lot of people tend to kind of if they think of themselves as a beginner they think oh like removing seam lines or like painting, panel lining that's kind of like a I'm not like up to that step yet but I don't think that that's really the right way that you should really think about it you shouldn't think like oh I'm not ready for that I mean you're ready as soon as you buy the stuff, you're ready. It's really not all that difficult. So that's what I want to do with my tutorial series. Um, that will hopefully be coming sometime in the next couple months. Uh, the first thing I want to do is upgrade my editing software and uh, get the video get the video quality up to where I want it first. And then uh, once I have uh, the video quality at a good level, where I'm happy with that, then I'll put out that tutorial video those tutorial videos, so probably sometime in the spring. And uh, just speaking of the spring in general, that's uh, another goal that I'm working on. So like I mentioned right now, I'm at about 350 subscribers. My goal for the spring is to get up to 1,000. Now some of the uh, very, very well-known uh, YouTubers 
have much, much more than that. Um, 16, 20, 40 thousand subscribers. I think probably the most is uh, Robert, I believe, has more than 50,000 subscribers. I think he's probably the most. Um, I don't think I'll ever get to that level, but a guy can dream, can't he? <laughs> I think uh, one reason that Robert got to that level is because he was uh, reviewing a lot of the kits as, as soon as they came out, and his his delivery and his video quality it was very good. So I think uh, professionalism uh, definitely goes a long way to helping you uh, advance your YouTube career. <laughs> and uh, it's certainly not a career. I think even for someone uh, like Robert, who had 50,000 subscribers, uh, YouTube was still, I'm sure, not um, making him enough money that he could call it a career. But I can tell you just from the level that I'm at now, it's definitely kind of like having a second job. It's like doing the work for the videos, um, the editing, and just kind of uh, planning, timing how you want to... Um, when you want to film stuff, when you want to edit stuff, when you have to um, export the videos and stuff like that. For me, it's it, it's almost like having a second job that doesn't pay you any money. But uh, that's not why I'm doing it, so I mean, I really don't care about that at all. I'm not uh, into this hobby, certainly, and not into making YouTube videos for the money. It's definitely uh, got nothing to do with it. Uh, so far, I haven't made any money, basically. Uh, I think you're not. I think you're not supposed to talk about that on YouTube, so I won't put an actual number on it. But it's very, very low. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I am just in it for um, just the community. So that's uh, that's that's it, I guess. So anyway, uh, as far as my gunpla plans for 2015, uh, the first and foremost thing is I'd really like to get this custom project finished. I'm really tired of saying that and I'm really tired of just being in this state, but I think I've got no choice but to just like hammer it out, just get it done. Um, but like it's the end of the year, so I've been quite busy with uh, my work, my real job, uh, t teaching, and uh, uh, I've been sick recently too, and uh, I've got vacation coming up, so I'm going to be in Japan for two weeks. Ah, yeah, that's one other thing, too. I'll come back to that. I've got a uh, vacation in Japan for two weeks, then I've got to do some uh, vacation uh, camp, like a winter camp at my school. Uh, so, just kind of very busy these days, but uh, hopefully in the next month or so, I don't know, I don't even want to say a time, because then I'll just be disappointed when I don't make it, but uh, hopefully soon I'll finish that and I can move on to other uh, projects of my own. I've got a few different projects uh, in mind that I would like to do. Basically what what I would really like to do is just um, do a couple of builds where I'm not doing a lot of customizing, where I can just... where basically all I'm doing is just like the minimum of just painting, panel lining, and decals, stuff like that. Just, just a few like easy kits uh, where basically I'm just painting the kits. Uh, so, what kits those are going to be, uh, I'm not sure yet, I don't know, looking around, uh, probably one thing they might be is, uh, I've got a few of these 1144 scale turn A kits, um, the unboxing for those, uh, those unboxing videos are in the queue, so you'll probably see those in the next couple weeks. Uh, those are just simple kits that I'm planning on working on just to practice my weathering. So I've got like the Turnex, the Kapool, and the Mobile Flat. Uh, that I've, I've got them snapped and I'm working on uh, a little bit on the side, just working on uh, getting those ready for painting and stuff. Uh, so we'll probably be starting off the year with those, uh, I hope, in terms of uh, completed builds. I would like to paint this uh, I don't know how soon that's going to happen. Uh, that might get pushed back behind some other stuff because that's going to be a, uh, a long time to paint that, of course. A perfect grade takes considerably longer. 
Oh, I want to finish my Ellen Kshatriya. That's definitely one thing I want to do. Uh, I finished all the inner frame and then put that aside for uh, this custom project, but I definitely want to get back and finish my Kshatriya. I'll also have the Mechanicor Kasi Gundam that I'm going to want to do right away. I've got the Perfect Grade Unicorn. The Perfect Grade Unicorn is something that I'll probably just be snapping together with the LEDs and stuff and then the full armor parts when I get it, and I'm just going to keep that snap together for a while. I'm not really in a hurry to paint that kit at all. Uh, be some somewhere down the line. And then there's a uh, project that I would like to do uh, involving some HGUC unicorn kits. So that uh, I might be starting next year if I can find the time. But uh, I'm also getting married next year, so that's going to be keeping me pretty busy. Uh, uh, so yeah, there's that. And just still have to get an airbrush, so just um, in general I'm planning to get an airbrush and need to just like uh, just kind of hammer out a few kits with the airbrush just for practice. What those uh, practice kits are probably going to be are uh, like a HG uh, Gazzaro and HG Gadessa from the 00 HG series. I've got those um, snapped together a, a while back and they're just kind of hanging out waiting to be my practice kits uh, because they're cheap. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, as far as kits that I'm planning to buy in 2015, as of right now there's really not a whole lot that I'm planning to buy of all the kits that we know of that are coming out in the spring. There's nothing that I am planning on getting right away. Um, there's some stuff that I may get eventually somewhere down the road, but nothing that I'm going to be buying from Bandai in the spring unless we get some new announcements of some new uh, P Bandai stuff or something like that. Uh, I will be getting the Mechanicor uh, version of the 1-100 scale Deep Striker at the end of next year if that's not delayed till 2016 but uh, right now that's supposed to be coming out at the end of 2015 so uh, basically for uh, for all that I know for the first half of 2015 I probably won't be buying a whole lot of kits which is good because I've got a lot of backlog and a lot of stuff I'd like to work on um, anyway uh, I think this video has probably rambled on long enough. Uh, I've talked a lot about what my plans are for 2015, so now you know. Um, like I mentioned at the end of the Gunpla News video, uh, this weekend, Saturday, December 27th, at 5 p.m. New York time, uh, we'll be doing the Gunpla Hangout. I'll be joining uh, that. That's going to be on the Gunpla Fixation channel, so you can watch that live or you can watch it later after it's posted. Uh, I'll be joining that hangout, so once again a big thank you to Jim at Gunpla Fixation for inviting me to join that. I'm really honored and really looking forward to it. And uh, I guess in 2015 it's probably fair to say I may be appearing on uh, future Gunpla hangouts again after that, as long as I like don't do something stupid to like ruin my reputation in the community, but I, I don't think I will. Anyway, uh, anyway so... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, just once again, just a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting me so far, uh, who's been uh, commenting and subscribing. I guess you can only subscribe once, but who has subscribed. And just watching the videos and uh, just kind of keeping me inspired to keep doing this. Like I said, there's no monetary gain to get from this. Uh, I'm basically just doing this as uh, doing my part in the Gumpla community. So that's about it, guys, and I'll see you. Ah! <laughs> oh, there's too much stuff to talk about. I'm going to Japan next week. Uh, I'm going to be there for two weeks. I'll uh, surely be buying some Gumpla stuff. I'm going to try not to buy too much because uh, I really need to tighten up the pocketbook a little bit, but I'm sure I'll find some stuff to buy. So when I get back, I'll be doing a haul video um, of everything that I bought there. I'm planning on just buying a lot of like uh, tools and uh, supplies, stuff like that. As far as, as far as kits go, it's basically just going to be if I see a kit at a really, really good price 
especially like an online exclusive or something rare or something like that. If I see something like that at a good price, I'm going to probably buy it, but other than that, uh, hopefully not too much. Anyway guys, uh, so that means no videos for a couple weeks. Uh, when I get back from Japan, look forward to a bunch of videos that are going to be coming out because I've got like 10 videos right now like just backed up. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff coming out in the later part of January, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.